Hello everyone, my name is Anatoly and today we're continuing our South Park Marathon with another episode recommended by you guys. This one is called Casa Bonita. Let's see how this goes. Dude, I wonder where Kyle is. Maybe he caught a disease and died. That'd be so awesome. That's not funny, you should joke about that. <laughs> Who's joking? <laughs> How can it be a proper South Park beginning if Cartman won't wish death upon Kyle and Super AIDS? You guys, you guys, I have awesome news! You have AIDS? No, this song is my birthday. My mom says she's taking me to Casa Bonita in Denver and I get to invite three friends! Wow, it's a, Casa it's a restaurant. Woohoo! What's Casa Bonita? Dude, haven't you ever been there? It's a big Mexican restaurant, but they have like cliff jumpers and Black Bart's Cave and all kinds of stuff! How good is this restaurant that it can actually make Cartman push his anti Semitism aside for one second? Like the Disneyland of Mexican restaurants. This Saturday, awesome! Casa Bonita, Casa Bonita. Food and fun and offensive atmosphere, Casa Bonita. Who said I'm inviting you? <laughs> Your mom said you could take three friends. Yes, three friends. You're not my friend. Well, come on, Kyle. Who the hell else you gonna take besides Dan and Kenny? I'm gonna take Butters. He invited me to his birthday party last month, so I owe him one. Butters? You're gonna take that butthole? Why? Because Butters isn't a total dick to me. I have never been a dick to you. Oh, please. All you ever do is call me names and rip on me for being Jewish. Kyle, when have I ever ripped on you for being a Jew? Is it really called ripping on someone if it comes from your heart? Cartman just diplomatically wishes him death. That's it. Oh, yeah? Well, you're a stupid Jew. You're a Jew. Shut your goddamn Jew mouth. Good job, Jew. <laughs> See people. Shut you. You're Jewish. Dude, he's Jewish. Jew. 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 I told you Jewish people don't have rhythm. F*** off, Cartman! <laughs> Okay, except maybe for that one time. You've always been a dick to me, Cartman, and I'm not inviting you. Kyle, you don't understand. Casa Bonita is my most favorite place in the whole world. I'll just, I'll just die if you don't take me, please. Sorry, my mind's made up. Well, f*** you, Kyle. I don't want to go to your faggy birthday party anyway. I'd rather <laughs> hang out at home than have to be around you and your Jew mom for a day. Kiss my balls, asshole. Cartman is a master at transitioning from those two states. Manipulative douchebag and manipulative angry douchebag. Dude, I totally didn't mean that, Cal. I really, really want to go to Casa Bonita. I'm sorry we had that fight just now. You know, I mean, I said some things, you said some things, but I think it was good and we've moved past it. I'm not inviting you to Casa Bonita. Well, f*** you, Cal! I hope you die! I hope you f***ing die! <laughs> That's the Russian-American relationship depicted perfectly. I want you dead in nuclear ashes, and I want you as an ally. Lift divers. More soap appears, please. Is this a real place in Denver? Because I feel it is. I'm not inviting you, Carmen. You can't go. No! 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 Casa Bonita, no! What an uh, injustice. <laughs> God damn it, I have to get invited to go. I'm just gonna have to start being nice to Kyle. Hi, Kyle. It's magnificent how the concept of niceness for Cartman literally means a nice outfit. That shirt won't erase a decade of malevolent anti-Semitism. Why a decade? Because even as Seaman, I'm pretty sure he was quite anti-Semitic. That isn't it, Cartman. What isn't it? That's not being nice. That's just putting on a nice sweater. <laughs> I don't understand the difference. <laughs> <laughs> Cartman is this maniac that's trying to empirically grasp all the methods of being a compassionate human being. And that is why Cartman is Patrick Bateman. Dude, I need your advice on something. Well, sure, Eric. What seems to be the problem? Well, everybody likes you, Jimmy, and you seem to be really good with people. So I was wondering if you could tell me, how do you act nice to people? Well, the best thing is not to act nice, Eric. The best thing is to be genuinely nice. Okay, so how do you act genuinely nice to people? Well, Eric, part of being nice is just making people smile and laugh. The best way to do that is by telling a fantastic joke or a humorous anecdote. Anecdote. Like what? Well, like try this one off his always. Knock knock. Who's there? Igmar Bergman. Now you say Igmar Bergman who? Ugh. Take that, Jimmy! And that! And don't you ever talk bad about Kyle again! Kyle is my friend! And if you say you had sex with his mom one more time, I'm gonna really let you have it. You of course, beating up crippled people is not necessarily something bad, but... Wait, what? Whenever Cartman has this crazy goal, there is no unfathomable obstacle. Oh, Kyle, hey. You really think that beating up a handicapped kid is being nice? How is it not? Hey, Kyle! Knock, knock! Knock, knock, Kyle! Huh? <laughs> 
<laughs> I always wanted to ask, what's with this Simpsonism whenever it comes to a photo of a South Park character? But does this make Cartman a minority? Yeah, Casa Bonita this Saturday. Well, that's gonna be so fun. Yeah, it'll be awesome. Just the four of us. Whoa. Hey, Kyle. Well? Well what? How are you going to try to get invited to Casa Bonita this time? I'm not, Kyle. I know you already told Butters he could go. Oh, well, yeah, I, I did. So, fine, Kyle, but honestly, I never meant to make you feel like you didn't matter at all to me. I know we argue all the time, and I give you tons of crap, but we've also been through a, a lot together, and maybe that alone doesn't make us friends, but it makes us something. So, whatever, you know, just, I, I hope things will be cool. Motherfucker is trying out all the cards of this universe. I think next up on the list after pity is, um, a threat? But can't Leanne Cartman just take him independently to Casa Bonita? I'm still not inviting you to Casa Bonita. I know, Kyle. I see you later. Hey, hey, Cartman. You really don't care that you can't go? I care, sure, but I hope it doesn't mean you and me and Stan and Kenny can't hang out anymore. That's exactly what I wanted to hear from you all along. I, I still have to take Butters, but I hope things can be cool, too. Good. And, and hey, if for some reason Butters can't go to Casa Bonita, you can take his place. Sweet, whatever. Jesus tap dancing Christ. Operation getting rid of butters officially started. Penises are about to be put in buckle orifices. What's this all about, Eric? Butters, can you keep a secret? Well, sure I can. For the past five days, I've been looking out into space for a school project. This morning at 3.45 a.m., I caught first sight of something terrible. How terrible? A meteor. A meteor the size of Wyoming. <laughs> right what? Now look, I could be wrong. A meteor pray, the size of wrong, Wyoming. I just want you to take a look and see what you think. Do you see anything? I just see stars. Keep looking. Sometimes it takes your eyes a minute to adjust. No, I don't see it. Whoa, wait. Oh, my God. I see it. I see it. It's a meteor. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Does it look like it's getting closer? It is. Butters is a true gift for Moldovan priests. Give him one interaction of that nature, and his asshole is going to be the size of Wyoming. It is getting closer. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That meteor is the size of Wyoming, and it's on a collision course for Earth. When do you think it'll get here? I I don't know. I have to do some calculations. 10 to the power of 1 base 9 divided by pi plus 5 plus 3. Divided by pi. What? According to my calculations, that meteor is going to hit Earth in less than four hours. Oh, you mean we're going to die? No, no, Butters. We are going to live. Do you hear me? We are going to live. We just, we've got to find a bomb shelter. Uh, where is there a bomb shelter? Stan's Uncle Jimbo. He has a bomb shelter in his backyard. Come on, Butters, hurry. Uh, here we go. Oh, bomb shelter's down here. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. I think Stan's uncle Jimbo might actually shoot trespassers on sight. You know what? This is pretty mild. Cartman could have been so much harsher in his endeavor. Like, I don't know, sell butters to the Pakistanis, for example. All right, we should be safe in here. There's dried food and water to last us for weeks. But what about everyone else? I have to tell my parents so they can come here too. No, butters, I can't let you risk it. I'll go up and get the others. Are you sure? I'm not sure of anything anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the no dramatic matter, lines. No matter what happens. No matter what you hear, do not come out. If I don't make it back in time with the others, then it will be up to you to repopulate the Earth. No matter what you hear, don't come out. That's actually what the Scientologist told Tom Cruise. But I'm the only one down here. What am I supposed to repopulate with? Well, you know, with your wiener. <laughs> Just stay down here until you hear word from me. And pray, Butters. Uh, with your goo, Butters. Well, I think we better just go without him, Kyle. It's getting late. Yeah, screw him. Let's go. Oh, finally. Happy birthday, Kyle. I just wanted to stop by and give you your present. Oh, thanks, dude. Hope you have a good one. See you later. Oh, wait, Carmen. Yes? Uh, Butters didn't show. You that yes that he just uttered, it implies a successful ejaculation. Want to go to Casa Bonita with us? Butters didn't show? I can't believe it. Are, are you sure you told him the right time and everything? I told him 5.30 and we gotta get going. You in? Well, I really would need to go home first and get my... Well, no, no, I guess I have everything I need. O okay, sure. All right, let's go. Okay, boys, get in the car. Casa Bonita, here we come. Casa Bonita. Oh, hello, Casa Chris, Bonita. Linda. Hello, everyone. Have any of you seen our son? Butters was supposed to go with us to Casa Bonita tonight. We know, but he hasn't been home since last night. The police have been looking everywhere, but... <laughs> Well, thank you. Uh, please let us know if you find out anything. 
That was actually pretty strange from Mr. Starch. Usually he has some nice assumptions. Like, we don't want to jump to any conclusions, but there might be the chance that a gang of Moldovan priests decapitated him and then made sweet love to his intestines. <laughs> oh, dude, weak. Yeah, man, that sucks about butters. Well, let's get going, shall we? Nah. <laughs> dude, I, I can't go to have a birthday party while butters is missing. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah, yeah, I, I think you're right, but on the other hand, I think butters would want us to go. You know butters. Nah, I can't. We should help look for him. Yeah, that's very good of you boys. We can postpone Casa Bonita until next Saturday. Next Saturday? I'll never be able to keep Butters down in there. It's in my heart for that, though. hope he turns up a Dude, we should check over at Stark's Pond. Butters always hangs out over there. Yeah, and then we can try the football field. I'll drive you boys. And at this point in time, Butters is just trying to repopulate the earth in his little bunker. Butters is gonna be like Chinggis Khan. Every 10th person is gonna be related to him. Ladies and gentlemen, we are all a big ass incest result. All about my man. Oh, god damn it. How am I gonna keep Butters down in that bomb shelter for a whole week? All right, folks, this is the little boy we're looking for. Leopold Stotch, also known as Butters. He's been missing for two days and was last seen at the school. Let's go find him. Dried food rations. Add water to beef flavored square. Hello? Hello? Butters! Ah! Butters! Oh, God, it was, it was horrible. What, what, what happened? The meteor struck the Earth sooner than I predicted. Uh, there was no time. No time. If the meteor struck the northmost part of the American continent, I think we're good. Or the west coast of the United States. What about my parents? Did you see them? There was mass confusion. Panic. People were crawling all over each other in the streets. It was awful. Then it hit. Millions were evaporated instantly. The rest of us walking around in a cloud of toxic radiation. <coughs> oh my god, let me see. No, better. If you come up, you'll get infected too. You best wait for the radiation levels to go down. Probably next week sometime. After Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> How many survivors are there? You should all come down here. We can't come down there or else we'll contaminate you, Butters. No, we just have to survive the best we can. Wow. Well, Eric, well, I can never thank you enough for everything you've done for me. Thank me by living, Butters. Live and rebuild. <coughs> Let's be honest, to a certain extent, he deserves the things that he has been put through. Maybe not the Pray the Gay Away camp, but the other stuff, meh. Every single South Park episode that is Butters and Cartman centered, it's amazing. I've got to go. Remember, wait one week for the toxic levels to go down. After Saturday. G goodbye. Around 6 p.m. Alright, just six days, Butters. Sit tight. Tom, it has now been three days since the Stotch child has gone missing. Townspeople continue to search, but hope is dwindling. All right, folks, I want to thank you for all your efforts. Three days is a long time, but we've got to keep going if we're going to find him. <laughs> You're not going to find him. Not until after Saturday when I finally go to Casa Bonita. <laughs> How Cartman, in an attempt to seek the utmost profit for himself, becomes so indifferent and oblivious to everything that's happening around him. This guy is very focused. Many times in cases like these, a child can trap themselves. It's important that we spread our search to duck pipes, wells, and bomb shelters. Wait, wait, what? I say we need to move the search to ducks, wells, and bomb shelters. Let's move out, people. Every second counts. Also, I gotta mention the fact that Officer Harrison Eats is oddly rational in this episode. Where are the fake prostitutes? Where are the psychics? <laughs> but if you leave it out, you take away the biggest part of me. Ooh, girl, baby, please come home. <laughs> I think this is not the first time we hear Butters sing this song. Maybe it's the last one. Eric? Eric, is that you? Oh, God! They're coming! They're coming! We've got to get out of here! They're coming this way! Who's coming this way? The cannibals! Don't you know? The meteor destroyed our society, Butters. Now Earth is ruled by a patch of wild humans gone mad! Those of us who survived are now being hunted by fledged-starved cannibals! Canadians? Oh, God! I hate cannibals! They're coming this way! I can hear them. They'll find you down here for sure, and when they do, they'll eat you alive. No! we got to get you out of here! Come on! Oh, oh, no, wait, I forgot. The toxic radiation. Hey, wait, we can use this box. There we go. That should keep you protected from the toxins. Awesome. Yeah, see nothing. Was it really necessary to cosplay Alice in Chains? Leave me, Butters. You don't want to see what's up there. Now, come on. I'll guide you to a safer location. There you go. Two more steps and you're at the top. Good. Are we out in the destruction? Yes. 
There's nothing but smoldering bodies all around you. Burnt out buildings and what used to be our town. Oh, man. All right, this way, Butters. Just follow the sound of my voice. Right now, we're walking by what used to be people's houses. Now just smoldering burnt piles of rubble. Oh, oh it's terrible. We're coming now to the crater where the meteor hit. A hole in the earth over two miles in diameter. What also amazes me sometimes is this ability of Cartman to be eloquently descriptive. I reckon we should be very precautious when it comes to these people that can come in your ear with lexical mead. Whoa. Here we are at the old gas station. It survived a lot of the impact. We might be safe here. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's a cannibal! Stay back, cannibal! <laughs> I've got to fight them off! Uh, uh. Stay away from Butters, he's humanity's last hope! Ah, he bit me! He bit off my hand! Oh god, he's eating my hand like a piece of chicken! Can you hear the bones crack? Wait, look here! There's a dead body with an axe in the back! I'll pull out the axe and use it to cut off the cannibal's head! Die! This SOB has played too much Dungeons and Dragons. Whenever I play D&D, I like to be a rapey priest. Just going from town to town and molest- Ooh, What happened? What happened? It's a cannibal. The cannibal's dead, Butters. But he bit me. Which means soon I will have a thirst for human flesh as well. Oh no! We have no choice, Butters. We have to lock you away somewhere where even I can't get to you. Where? Look, there's an old refrigerator! Get inside, Butters! I'll break it. Looks like an so old Soviet refrigerator. Oh, it's too late for me. I can already feel my body start to change. No! Must fight it. Uh, uh, don't open this door for anybody, Butters. No matter what you hear, stay inside for four days. Here's some water and food from the shelter. Aaron, <laughs> you're the best friend in the whole world. <laughs> this is so painful. I cannot articulate how pissed off I am right now. Butters has a Stockholm syndrome the size of Wyoming. I love you. I love you too, man. You're oh. so delicious. I love Must you. eat your brains. <laughs> Wow, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and let me tell you something, those words of Butters, they were pure. He really loves Cartman. There's no possible way to unstuck home this guy. <laughs> it's Wednesday, it's Wednesday! <laughs> Only three more days to catch Anita. <laughs> I'm gonna go through Blackbart's cave first. No, I'm gonna watch the cliff divers first. Maybe if I tell them it's my birthday, they'll let me cliff dive in the pool. Oh, that would be so badass. There was actually a Chim Pokemon sticker there. I myself, I'm a fan of Shrew. And tax evasion. <coughs> oh, finally, I can breathe it. Oh my god. Oh my god, the meteor took out everything. The music from Heroes of Might and Magic 3. That played whenever you lost a fight. Matt Stone and Trey Parker, men of motherfucking culture. It's all destroyed. Nothing left. Hello? Are there any are there any other survivors? Hello? Oh, that must have been where the library was. And that was probably the school. Hello? Oh, I forgot. I gotta watch out for radioactive cannibals. Is that a can I gotta mention, Detroit looks nicer these days. Of course, it's not Canada yet, but still. Sir, ma'am. Oh, ah, oh, it's a little dog. Well, hello there, Mr. Dog. Looks like you and me are the only ones that survived the meteor. We should stick together, huh, Mr. Dog? Gonna shit on him. Well, come on. We gotta start cleaning up this mess and rebuilding civilization. Boy, that meteor sure did make everything stinky. We're gonna be there very soon. You're gonna love Cash Bonita, Stan. There's, there's this one part where you can dress up in old western clothes and get your photo taken in a fake jail. Really? Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> pretty cool. So, um, should we go to Blackbird's Cave first or watch the puppet show? I think we should go through Blackbird's Cave right away because we're gonna want to do it seven or eight times. How Cartman so obsessively refuses to believe that the world is not centered around his feelings. And then we'll watch the Cliff Divers before the puppet show. Dude, it's Kyle's birthday. We should do whatever he wants to do. What? F Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, birthday joke. Of course we do whatever Kyle wants. Happy birthday, Kyle. Uh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. <laughs> this reminded me a little bit of the ending of the Ginger Kids episode. Come on, you guys. Let's all get together. <laughs> oh, 
That's just wholesome. <laughs> Who are you? Are you infected? With what? You're not a cannibal, are you? No. Oh. Oh, good. You're a survivor like me. Look, Mr. Dog, another survivor. And it's a lady, too. That means we can repopulate the Earth. Yippee! Kid, what are you doing here? I'm rebuilding society. Here, take a look. This is the library, and over here is the bank. That over there I'm thinking of making into a P.F. Changer. I think this is kind of the dream of every kid, to be abducted by Cartman. And this is a memorial to Eric Cartman, the person who gave his life to me, and I can rebuild his life. Well then, I guess we should start repopulating the Earth, huh? <laughs> you are. Kid, I don't know what you think is going on, but this place is a dump. Hey, that's not very nice. This is my first assignment. Uh, I'm doing my best. No, I mean you're at the garbage dump. Take your clothes off, I ran. If Butters asks, you don't refuse. Town is right over there. Everybody is fine, and I think they've been looking for you for over a week. <laughs> The slow realization. Ma'am, can I use your phone? We're here! We're here! Casa Benita! Oh man, this is gonna be so great! Wait up, Eric! We need to stay together! If he actually doesn't get to do it, I am coming. Oh, look in the back, it's Fisting Fireman! Haven't heard that name in quite some time. Uh, hold on, boys, that's my cell phone. Hello? Yes? Oh, that's great! Boys, they found Butters. He's okay. Oh, awesome. I knew he'd turn up. Yes, Eric Cartman is with us. Why? Oh, really? What? Yes, I will certainly let him know. Thank you. Well, it appears that Eric here is responsible for Butters missing because he wanted to go to Casa Bonita. <laughs> what? Eric, the South Park police are already on their way here to have a little talk with you. So instead of just asking your mom to go independently, hide Butters and make him believe in an apocalypse. But Casa Benita, I should have known better. You never cared about my birthday at all. But I, but, stand back. Carmen, stop it. I am going to Casa Bonita. It's too late, fat ass. They'll be here in less than a minute. <laughs> Carmen! <laughs> oh, awesome! <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. Can I just eat some of your... Thank you, thank you. Okay, oh, gotta get this back my skin. The motherfucker decided to speedrun everything. And let me tell you something, remorse is not a part of this equation. Don't 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 eat the coins, Carter, please. He still gets to enjoy it. <laughs> and you know what this might as well just be the best evening of his life no compassion no remorse just casa bonita well kid you made an entire town panic you lost all your friends and now you're going to juvenile hall for a week <laughs> was it worth it totally <laughs> Cartman's brain works in mysterious ways. I think intuitively Casa Bonita is translated as good house from Spanish. I speak Romanian, I'm not so far away linguistically. Every single Cartman Butter centered episode is a masterpiece. The more I watch South Park, the more I realize that Butters, he deserves some of the stuff that's coming to him. If one single time wasn't enough for you to realize who Cartman is, then you might as well just repopulate the earth with Iran. How the hell does everyone become so oblivious of everything that Cartman has done every single episode? Yeah, he's an asshole, but no way he's doing this. Remember kids, if you leave me now, you take the biggest part of me. But that was it for today, thank you for watching this with me. If you have more suggestions, drop them in the comments below, but apart from that, like, subscribe, all the usual stuff. And I'll see you next time. It gets bigger when I pull on it. Hmm.